Mm-mm-mm. She wanted to do a haul so damn bad, but it's not in the cards today. It'll happen, but let's move on. What's up, every... What's up, every guys? Oh, my God. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. It feels so good to say. And I hope that you guys had an amazing weekend, did all the things. So today, we are doing a color block accent wall. So this is the bathroom. There's nothing wrong with it. It's bright, but... I just am not a big fan of the gray walls. It just looks a little sad. So we're gonna add a splash of color on there and I'm super excited. Before we get into it, a quick tip for those of you who don't know, I'm sure that this is just a well-known rule already. Same thing applies to makeup and all of that. But when you think of white or lighter colors, that is going to make things appear larger. And the darker you go, that's going to make everything look very small and you know, almost snatched, a move. But for the bathroom, I want to stick to something a lot brighter because it's already just built different. So we need to make her appear large and in charge out here, okay? So of course I pulled some inspiration pics from Pinterest. I love the brightness and the personality that it adds to the space. It's just a little, a little kiss, you know, of color. Okay, so this tile sparked some inspiration behind the colors that I chose. Originally, I picked these three because they just look so cute together, so loud and vibrant, but I played it safe and I just did that one color, but I can use these other two for future projects or little accents. Okay, so I started off by removing all the hardware on the walls. We only had that towel rack that was already like wiggling off, so it was super easy. This was so frustrating. I noticed that these like wall crumbs just kept falling from behind it. I was like, mm -mm, I need my deposit back. I'm gonna leave it alone. So since we are working with straight clean cut lines, the preparation for this is so important. I mean, just like anything in life, right? It's all about preparation. This trick right here, it's gonna help you out. So I decided to use this twine string and tape it down from corner to corner. So I drew my line using the string as the guide and the cardboard to help with creating that super straight line. Yes, it took a little while, but worth it. And once you are finished drawing your line, you remove the string and then you tape down those lines. And then you're all set for paint. I was listening to Bad Bunny, so I was getting it. Oh, and that's another tip. If you're doing a project like this that takes a minute, put on some Bad Bunny. Put them on. Oh my God, tell me this isn't the most satisfying part, removing the tape. So of course, depending on your paint, you know, you just gotta wait a few hours, but <laughs> I was a little lazy and I needed a break. So I just waited for the next day to paint the white part. Oh my God, and it was a sauna in here. Which leads me into this, y'all. This sucked. I noticed that our bathroom gets super hot and we have to leave the windows open because all that moisture just sticks to the walls. So when I removed the tape on certain areas, I knew that it was just not gonna end well, but it was super easy to fix. I just went back with a small paintbrush and bada boom, bada bam, nothing to worry about. So this is kind of a before just so you can see the design I went ahead and did an upside down triangle and an upright I thought that that would look pretty cool and it does for the actual reveal here it is that was fast I need more b-roll footage because yeah but look at doesn't it look so nice I absolutely love it and my Pothos Keanu leaves just look so freaking beautiful right against the terracotta clay color. I just love it. Okay, so these prices will obviously vary depending on what you already have on hand. 
So I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you again so, so much. Don't forget to follow me on my socials. And if you vibe, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I know right now it's mostly my friends and family. Thank you guys for always supporting me and pushing me. I love y'all. And I hope that you have a beautiful, productive week. I hope that it's all the things that you want it to be. Until next time, you guys. Bye.